Hello everyone, I'm Claudia and I've been a K-pop fan since 2019 and I'm doing these videos just for fun. Sometimes I make grammar mistakes and I have problems to face myself, so I don't know how this video is going to end this. It happened! It happened! We are having a Evergo clan back. It's been like more than a year since we heard anything from them. I have to make a confession. I don't know the girls' names. I love Everglow. I listen to the music. But I don't know the names. Why? I First thing first, I'm bad with names. Second, I learned some of the names while I watch YouTube videos. Like, be I was being goofy, so watching them on variety shows. But with Everglow, like, most... But... Also, most of the times those videos are recommended to me, so that's why I watch it. And with Everglow, I never had anything recommended from them. Even if I watch those videos, there's a chance that I still would know the names. Like, again, I'm bad with names. Really, really bad. So, there are groups that I listen more for a long time and I still can't remember names. Like, so... Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Get out your sis now. So damn dangerous. Mushy alright. so steady. Keep it to the Very hip hop. You know that I'm the crowd, so don't you waste my time. I'm keeping it real, I'm keeping it real, I'm keeping it killer tonight. Me and my cars, we about to blow your mind. Every time. Yeah, yeah, so we can hear. Yeah, yeah, see you take a deal. For the meeting, say goodbye, get to the chandelier. I love the colorful outfits. It still has that Everglow gold. Oh. That was a spider, please tell me that wasn't a spider. Now I forgot what I meant to say. <laughs> Okay, at first I wasn't sure about the chorus, but it, it's growing on me. I'm 
just happy to have Everglow black. Black? To have Everglow back. Okay, when I say I don't remember the names, like a tiny bit lied. Uh, there's two members that I remember, Mia and Onda. Uh, Mia, it's very easy to remember the name. Um, and uh, I know also they had that uh, uh, news that maybe Mia didn't want to cut her hair and was uh, like obligated by the company. That was the rumor. Like, I don't know if it's true or not. She looks amazing in it. Um, but also, I'm not surprised if a company was like, I'm going to cut your hair. I don't care what you feel like because it's nothing new into K pop industry. Uh, and also I remember Onda because everyone it's uh, and it's understandable why right? uh, Onda always has tiny bit of time in MVs and songs and I think she still has too little uh, time in the song and the MV here in Slay so maybe someday I'll remember the rest of the members like who knows but the MV. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Since it's been almost more than a year, maybe almost two years, who knows? Uh, I would ex as the MV. I would expect something bigger. Just because I love Everglow and I want the best for them. The song. I think there's going to be people that maybe are not going to like it. And being like, uh, yeah, well, maybe just they put a song just because they had to, because the fans were going uh, because of the unrest with the fans. So uh, I don't know, but it's maybe because you we got used to the big uh, aggressive sounds as title tracks. Uh, from Everglow, like first pirate, uh, everyone like bomb bomb chocolate and everything they had until now. But the I think Ladida has the song that I has a tiny bit different flavor from Everglow, and Ladida is my favorite Everglow song. I love that song so 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 much. And also the MV, both the MV and the song, I love them. My favorite from Everglow for now. Uh, so maybe. That's why I expect something bigger for the MV in the song. In the song, I think it's not bad. But it wasn't like insta love that I had with a lot of uh, Everglow music. But uh, I think maybe my expectations were too, 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 too high. Uh, but it's also, it's not a bad song. And I think I need more listen to concentrate on the song. And hear more of it. Um, like I said, the f at first uh, the chorus like didn't really click it with me, but uh, the first time when I, but by the end of the song I was like, okay, it's not that bad. So there's a high chance that it's going to grow on me more and more. I listen to it, so I'm going to read the lyrics and then watch me again. And I don't know if I'm going to listen to the other two songs from the mini album now. So, so what I've gathered from the lyrics is just one thing: slay. <laughs> like I don't think it's anything deeper than like continuing the theme of girls slaying. We can do it. We can slay. We are awesome. And also maybe saying uh, like, also referring, referencing that Everglow is coming back and they're going to slay also. Like, that's all I take from the lyrics. Maybe there's more to it, but right now I can't see it. So I'm going to give you again and see if I'm going to like the song a tiny bit more. Also, the opening. Does it sound uh, like another Everglow song? It's not Boom Boom Chocolate. Adios? Uh, so if anyone knows if that's from another song. 
Tell me. Also, I love this shot with the sparkles. But those outfits, the this cream outfits somehow really goes well with Everglow. Like in my brain, it goes back to pirate. I don't know why. Why? It reminds me of pirate. It's more like sporty and a tiny bit of militaristic inspired. Maybe that's why I, I what, see these outfits and then I'm like, yep, that's an Everglow outfit. <laughs> This shot. Oh. oh, and this part also. I love the part the most. Do you know what reminds me in the background those lenses or lights of um, I think it was Mia in Pirate she had something on like a ah uh, it's not a monocle uh, a cyberpunk lens. Over one eye, that's why you remind me of. I don't know why. I also love this part. The rap. Oh, in the background. In the background. It reminds me of uh, that current. It reminds me of a Stray Kids song. I don't know why. I can't even remember the words. Stray Kids song. I don't know why. That case one for free. <laughs> I don't know why. My brain goes to weird places on music. Also, this set is the same where Onda was, but they repurpose it and they change the light and they put a fake spider web. So it's not like they spend a lot of money on the sets. The colors are are great and also the light. Oh, when they say chandelier. The when they say sh um, chandelier, the bullets it looks like pieces of a chandelier. You know those fancy chandeliers that have uh, I don't know if it's plastic or no, it's more crystal pieces that they are hanging. That's what those bullets look like. <laughs> Cool, slay, 
spider. I I just saw it like it's barely there. It's like goes and there's just like a shadow. I'm like, oh, no. I have severe arachnophobia, so just a tiny spider and I'm I don't sleep at night. <laughs> Also what I like are the hairstyles. The hairstyles looks great. Oh yeah, the song is growing on me. This shot is the best, the one with glitter. I still think... Okay, the song is growing on me, but I don't f still think it's one of my favorite title tracks from Mirror Glow. I think I prefer... No, I... Compared to the other title tracks for now, it's like... On... And the ranking on the lower side, uh, maybe because I'm used to the other Saturday tracks and I love them so much, and it's going to take me a tiny bit more of time to get used to the new sound. Uh, it still has that Everglow sound in it, but it still also change it. Does that make sense? But. Yes, maybe I don't like the song and after a few listens I'm going to love it. But the MV, I still want more from the MV. I know Yehua can do great MVs. So, I don't know. Maybe I was expecting a more big MV. Because it's the comeback in like almost two years. A year and a half. I don't know how much. So... I'm just a tiny bit disappointed by the MV. It looks very simple in like... They are like in space. That's how it looks like. So. I think I'm going to listen to the two other songs. So. Two things I have to say. Just because I love a group or an artist. It doesn't mean that I have to love one of the songs. Um, I have likes and dislikes. And they are going to be songs that are not the type of songs that I love to listen uh, it doesn't mean it's a bad song. It's just not my type of music. Uh, and um, everyone has different tastes. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of poses. So if you don't like posing, you can listen to the songs on your own. Or you can find another um, video that goes more well with your type of uh, content that you like to watch you so let's go oh mama god so it's more uh, slow in r I love, I love the patata. Na, 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 na. Also, 
I feel like I have no breath in me right now, so I'm going to be like a tiny bit <coughs> more low energy for now. I thought it's going to be like a full more slow warm beat song, but the chorus is just picked up, pick up, picked up. It become more dancey dance. pre-chorus or the verse before the chorus I, I don't know which one is going to be here i love it i think it's my favorite part from the whole song oh my god <laughs> The bridge being slow, I'm going to pick up. Yeah, the bridge was more like slow. First, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but the more I listened, the more I liked it. But it it grew on me so fast because it's not that really slow army that I thought it's going to be at at first. So last one. Okay, I, I love what I hear. I think it's going to be my favorite. <laughs> it builds up so much and you feel like more and more energy. You make me feel, you make me feel, you oh, it's me, ooh, calm down. Ooh, but I love the vocals. Ooh, you make me feel for something real. You make me, ooh, ooh, you, ooh, ooh, you make me. Retro! I will, it's not the first time I've said a lot, so many times uh, from any time there is a K-pop song that has the retro sound. Uh, I love retro and I love 80s music, so it's always it's an, an insta love if I <laughs> hear it. 
I, I just love retro music and I, especially 80s music like It's different! Instrumental and then and then in the second part you make me feel you have more vocals yeah, because they feel more and more and more so that's why it picked up in the chorus Okay, make me feel it's my favorite song from the mini album. It's a mini album. It's a single album. Uh, I I just love it, N not just because of that bit of retro feeling in it, uh, but I yeah I don't know. I just love the song more than the other two. It has a like I said a more happier and uh, oh, like positive energy in it. I don't know if I make sense. I don't know if I expressed well what it made me feel. Uh, make me feel. <laughs> uh, but at first I felt like the chord is going to be like bang, but it at first was like just like instrumental. And then on the second part it picked up. I don't know. I just, I just love the song. So normally I'll do like first listener ranking, so I think in this case make me feel first and then maybe slay second and oh mama god third place maybe if I'm listening more uh, slay and oh my god is like going to change but who knows maybe not so I think that's it um, I hope we're going to get this year more Everglow comebacks, maybe like at the end of the year, like I don't know, but not be more than a year with nothing to hear from them. I know they always say in Western like blah blah blah, yeah, but this is Korea, they have different marketing and stuff like that especially with idols so i hope yehua just doesn't totally forget about them or doesn't care anymore about everglow uh because there's going to be a lot of fans that they're going to be after their asses <laughs> if they do something to the girls i still expected more from Yehua to give to to this comeback, um, I, I never understand that company. Maybe after Tempest, uh, when the new group is coming after Zero Base One, because it's going to come. Maybe they're going to 
puts to shift all their attention there or if they're making a new group like i, I don't understand that company <laughs> i don't understand any of the companies but especially yehua i think that's it um if anyone watching today thank you thank you thank you very much and bye bye